Hello everyone, and welcome to the SDS2.NET API tutorial series. This series has been broken into two paths. The first path is going to be a Code Along With Me video series where we will have a lesson on the API first, and then we'll be building an application together. The second path will only be the lesson videos. So if you're interested in only the SDS2 API lessons, then click the link in the description for the playlist. Now before we jump into the tutorial series, I want to cover what this video series will cover and what it will not cover. First of all, it is not a C Sharp or WPF tutorial. I will be explaining what I am doing as we go along, but you should have some general knowledge of C Sharp and WPF. What we will be covering is the SDS2.NET API and best use cases. This application that we're building together, you will be able to use at your company and modify it however you see best fit. If WPF is not your cup of tea, that's fine. Feel free to follow along in WinForms or in .NET Core non-UWP applications. Before we jump into the tutorials, let's go over a demo of our application that we'll be building together. The application that we will be developing together is a WPF application that will cover two main areas, estimation and drawings. First off, your user will be able to select any project they want to and be able to change at any time. Once we have jobs selected, we can load in our estimation data, where we will be estimating members, plates, angles, welds, and bolts. Then if they need to come in over to their drawings to help manage that, they can go to any one of their drawings, select them, and update any of the values. So we click here and we go back. You now have our updated drawings. We can also search through our drawings. So if we wanted to search for any drawings that contain the letter A, it pulls up only ones in the gather sheet. The only ones that contain A2, etc, etc. Before we wrap this video up, I'll cover two additional links in the description. The first link will be a link to our GitHub that contains all the source code for these tutorial videos. And the second link will be to our online documentation of our .NET API. It was great having y'all here with me today. Can't wait to see you in the next, but until then, I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day. Goodbye.